Hello guys, my name is Philip and this is my first tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you an effect which Baker used in his Catapult Quarry edit. It's really cool and I just um, tried to recreate it and yeah, I got a pretty nice output so here's the effect. And as you can see um, there are those uh, yeah glass wires glass strokes, I don't know, and they are moving and building up and following uh, till this guy, but um, I just want to show you the basic one, the basic idea, and you can, yeah, you can um, use it and try to make it better and yeah so this is my cinematic it's on village and it's pretty nice it's cool for this uh, tutorial so yeah this is our basic cinematic we're going to duplicate this first and call the top one or rename the top one to um, glass wire maybe that's okay because we are creating one wire um, and as I said, you can use it and try different things out on your own. So, glass wire. Okay, we're done. Right click on your actual footage which you imported and click track camera. If you haven't got After Effects CS6, um, you have to make this tracking in Buju or with an extra plugin which is called Camera Tracker by the Foundry. Uh, yeah, both method works pretty nice. So yeah, you can uh, do it like this too. And first of all, before we're starting to create the wire, I don't know if this was the exact method Baker used. Uh, yeah, I recreated it like this, and it looks pretty yeah pretty nice so maybe it was the way he did it I'm not sure yeah so our tracking is nearly done five seconds okay the last few frames okay um yeah I'm just going to pause the video really quick okay guys I'm back sorry was my friend uh, yeah um, okay so I solved the camera and track the scene so create the camera move the camera between these two layers the glass wire layer and your actual tracked village layer uh, make your glass wire layer 3d and as you can see it's tracked into the space and it's looking like it scales up. Now we don't want it like this, but that's okay. Choose the stroke effect. This is the effect uh, we use to create these lines. Put it onto your glass wire layer. Make the brush size like 3. The brush hardness at 100. Um, start at 100 and end at 100. That's okay. So the paint style have to be on reveal original image and now uh, the scene looks like it's invisible same thing so now you have to create a mask choose this glass wire layer and create a nice mask um, Baker used this edge line things I'm going to create a rounded mask like this pretty ugly but okay um yeah so choose the path to mask one and now you can just uh, toggle off the mask view and you see nothing happens that's okay um, we have to animate this 
end keyframe thing and you can see we got this line and it's oh sorry and it's looking like it's um yeah tracked into the space and you can look through it now choose the magnify effect and put it above the stroke effect choose a magnification of maybe 110 and put the size up to 1500 for this scene um, the size depends on how long you want the stroke to be or the wire uh, you have to play around with this a bit um, I figured out that for this scene the size of 1500 is pretty close and looks really cool so <clears throat> I can show you what happens if it's 10 you see um, that's for this example let's the magnification to 300 and you can see um, here's the magnification um, or here is no ma magnification because the size is too slow or too low um, and if you put up or increase your size of the magnification you see um, that into the stroke the magnification builds up so for the scene or for the length of my stroke the size of the magnification is pretty cool at 1500 magnification back to 110 so that it isn't uh, yeah that high 110 looks pretty cool uh, maybe put the brush size down to 2 okay that's Bit too slow. Uh, too, oh my god, why I'm saying too slow. Too low. 2,5, that's okay. So now we got our stroke, but it's there. It, um, if I take a quick RAM preview, um, it's still in 3D space, and wow, it's there. and it's doing nothing that doesn't look so good so we're going to go to the beginning of your animation you can minimize the magnify effect we don't need it anymore create a keyframe the start keyframe for the end add 100 go to somewhere here and decrease the percent till the stroke is somewhere here in this area oh I'm sorry and now go forward do the same here like this and the same here okay so now we got the stroke coming in and following the camera and as you can see we got this little thing and it looks pretty nice um, so now because it's a 3d layer we can rotate it um, on the y-axis so maybe like this increase the scale to 110 and change the position to the right like this so now it's following the camera to the z-axis and that looks way better. Okay, so now we have this glass wire but it looks a bit ugly. Search up magic bullet looks and put it above the magnify effect. Click edit and choose a cinematic look like the blockbuster thing. You can of course use your own look but um, I just reinstalled Windows and I forgot to save my uh, color corrections so yeah I don't want to create a new one in this tutorial so I just use the blockbuster one click finish and you see the color corrections only taking place into this stroke and this looks pretty nice we can see the line coming in just a quick ramp preview this we go there's the line coming up okay maybe a bit more those strokes at the end of the building 
or the church. Um, okay, that should be enough. And you can see we have this magic bullet look, this cinematic look, the color correction into this stroke only. So that's the tutorial. I hope um, this was the way Baker did. And yeah, I also hope that it was interesting for you guys and I hope you will watch my videos and my tutorials. So yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial. I'm Philip.